Hi my dear students, in the previous videos we discussed for any given matrix how to write the transpose of a matrix. So just I recall that. So how to write the transpose of a matrix? My dear students, if I have the matrix A, I taking care of this, I took one example. 1, 2, 3, 4. So my dear students, if I have the any matrix A, it is the given matrix whatever I took care of this, this matrix is of the order 2 cross 2 because 1, 2, 2 rows are there, 1, 2, 2 columns are there. So, if any matrix I took here is, then if I wanted to write the transpose of this means, I should and transpose of a matrix is denoted by, either you can denote it by a to the power dash or you can write a to the power t. And how to write the transpose of a matrix A? Transpose of a matrix A is written by changing here this, interchanging the rows into columns. So first row I write it as column, that is 1, 2. Next, second row I will write it as column. Again that is 3. This is the row and I am writing here this column wise. So this is, here it is transpose of A. So transpose of A means what? My dear friends, if A is any given matrix, the interchanging of the, inter interchanging of the rows into columns, that we can call it as the transpose of a matrix A. That is you can denote like this or you can denote like this. So this concept we discussed in the previous previous video I discussed this concept. And in today's class my dear students I am going to discuss what is mean by here this symmetric and skew symmetric matrices. So my dear students if I have the any matrix A so before and before discussing the definition, I'll take one example, my dear students, to understand this concept, the symmetric. First, I'll discussing the symmetric matrix. Matrix. So to understand this concept, I'll take one example. For example, I'll take here this example. I'm taking here this example. A is equals to A is the any one given matrix that is one, two, three, and next, my dear students, two, four, five, and three, five, six. 3, 5, 6. So, this is the one matrix I taken here it is. And now, if I write the transpose of this. So, how, what is the transpose of this, my dear students? The transpose of this is, here it is, transpose of a matrix is denoted by a to the power t. You can write, or you can write a, a dash, you can write. So, now, this is the one matrix I taken here it is. Now, I am going to write the transpose of this matrix. And the transpose of this matrix is, how to write the transpose of a matrix? Just only I discuss it. We should interchange the rows into column. So, therefore, 1, 2, 3. This is the first row I am writing it as the first column. 1, 2, 3. First row I am writing it as the column. And next, second row I am writing it as the second column. 2, 4, 5. Is it? And next, my dear students, the third row I am writing it as the third column. 3, 5, 6. So, you can observe here it is. After the writing of this dot, I have the one matrix A. After writing the transpose of this, whatever I got, this matrix is, uh, this matrix and this matrix are same only. Just you can observe, here also 1, 2, 3, here also 1, 2, 3, here also 2, 4, 5, second row also here also 2, 4, 5, 3, 5, 6, 3, 5, 6. So therefore, my dear students, you can observe here it is, A is equal to, this matrix is equal to the transpose of A itself. So A is equal to A transpose. So this is what we can call it as the symmetric matrix. So symmetric matrix means what my dear students? If we have the any matrix A, that is A is equal to, I write here it is, if A is equal to A i j of the order m cross n be any matrix, then we say that A is said to be A is, here my dear students, A is said to be, here, symmetric, symmetric, if A transpose equals to A. If whatever I have the matrix A here this A is a matrix of the order M cross N. So A is said to be, A is said to be symmetric. If I take the transpose of this, that must be equal to the A itself. That matrix must be equal to the A itself. Then we can say that A is a symmetric matrix. Clear? So my dear students, A is said to be symmetric. Here it is. If 
you can hear this is a symmetric if a transpose is equals to a and you can observe so to understand this concept the, i took here this one example so here is the one matrix 1 2 3 3 2 4 5 3 5 this is the one matrix i took here this if i write the transpose of this after writing the transpose of this again i got the same matrix as a or a therefore we can say that A is a symmetric matrix. A is said to be symmetric matrix because after writing a transpose of this, again I am getting the same matrix only. That is A transpose is equal to A. So then we can say that A is a symmetric matrix. Clear? So therefore my students, the definition is if A is equal to Aij of the order M cross N is said to be symmetric if A transpose is equal to A. Here, I hope you understood. So, once I will explain in Kanga. So, now Yaude on the matrix A and now symmetrical Kyava here both in Kalidra. So, other girls can first in Matani, one example don't discuss Matan. So, example in Kalidra, A and other matrix on any matrix, A and other matrix on any. So, now I am going to A transpose Matan. A transpose I am going to be cool. I already know previous video will discuss Matan. I am starting also in one side of the So, in one side of the So, A transpose and hang very well. Yaw the matrix for the A and the matrix for the E matrix. You do another transpose very well. I am going to line Martini. Rows either than a line Martini. Column wise very thin. So, first row either than a first first column I perform it. Second row either than a second column I perform any. Third row either than a third column I perform any. So, interchanging rows either than a column wise perform the Kinavin and the Kerritaway. Transpose of A and the Kerritani. Other than a hang on notational hang very well. A to the power T and the very bodo. Athava A dash and the Buddha. Very well. So, either E, e matrix is the transpose. A transpose. So, now we can discuss what they are symmetric. So, symmetric of Andre and the Pandra. Yaw they on the matrix and the Yaw they on the matrix A and the other. Gender like the other. Yaw they on matrix A and now symmetric of Yava held on the other. Other transpose to another. Ade values. Even the A and a sigta it under A and elements it over. Ade elements at all. A transpose in a equal it under. Avagan A and I and the third way. Trans A and a. Symmetric matrix and correct. So, that is the example. A is the matrix. That is the transpose. Bar this is the e matrix. Transpose bar da, yaradu matrix is equal to A. That is A transpose is equal to A. So, E is equal to A. A transpose is equal to A. Na A is equal to A. Symmetric matrix is equal to A. Clear? So, very very important. But very simple concept. So only the condition is if A transpose is equal to A, then we can say that A is a symmetric matrix. Clear. So this is symmetric. Next we will discuss my dear students. What is Q symmetric? For this also I will take one example. Here it is. Again I will take one another one example. Here it is. That for example I am going to take. So if I have the matrix A is equal to 0, 1, 2. I will take it as 0, 1, 2, minus 1, 0, 3, minus 1, 0, 3. And next I will take minus 2, minus 3, 0, minus 2, minus 3, 0. My dear students, again you can observe this example. So what is that? 0, 1, 2, minus 1, 0, 3, minus 2, minus 3, 0. So now I will write the transpose of this. So this is the whatever I discussed here. This is the about the symmetric. But now I am going to discuss skew symmetric. So now I am going to discuss my dear skew symmetric. So to understand skew symmetric, again I will take one example. That is A. This is the matrix I took here. Clear? Sorry. This is the was one example I took here. This. Now I read the transpose of this. So again write the transpose of this. How to write transpose of this, my dear students? Again, we should interchange the rows into column. So, therefore, here, so first row I am writing it as the column 0, 1, 2. First row I am writing it as the column wise, for, and second row minus 1, 0, 3. Second row minus 1, 0, 3. Next, minus 2, minus 3, 0. Clear? Whatever we have the first row, whatever we have in the matrix A, whatever rows are there, that I am writing in terms of the columns. So, after writing this, whatever I am getting, this is only the transpose of the given matrix. Clear? So, here it is 0, 1, 2, minus 1, 0, 3, minus 2, minus 3, 0, minus 2, minus 3, 0. So, now my dear students, you can observe here it is, this matrix is 
somewhere equals to this matrix somewhere in the somewhere means what so if simple so if you take the minus sign from outside from this matrix you will get the matrix a only you can observe here this what i do from this matrix i take the minus outside so this is if i take the minus outside so what happens here is from this i am taking minus outside so minus here it is 0 and here it is minus 1 is there so but i am already i took the minus outside so therefore it is only remaining is 1 and here also minus 3 is there but minus i am taking outside so only remaining element is 2 and similarly here also my additions minus i took outside but here it is but again i should write here it is only remaining is 1 sorry here it is minus i took outside but here it is it is positive here from this i am taking minus outside so if i take the minus outside means i again i should write here it is minus because after taking this minus outside after multiple whatever we took the minus sign outside i took here this minus sign outside so after simplifying if i multiply minus with every element of this again i should get this in such a way you should take the assign outside you can take the minus sign outside so or else make it as minus 1 clear so now here it is minus if i take the if i take the minus 1 outside from this matrix means here it is minus minus again plus 1 next here it is 0 here it is minus 1 is there but here i require it is it's plus 3 because minus 1 into 3 is minus 3 and next here it is 2 is there so here it is minus i should take here because minus 1 into minus 2 is plus 2. I should get it as plus 2. Next here is 3 is there. Again here it is minus 3. And next 0, right as it is. For 0, we don't, we don't, don't denote any signs. So, my dear students, you may have confusion how to take this minus sign. So, whatever you took the sign outside, so you should choose, you should write these elements of this matrix in such a way that after multiplying this minus to every element of this, again you should get this matrix only. Here, minus 1 into 0 is 0. Minus 1 into 1 is minus 1. Minus 1 into 2 is minus 2. Minus minus plus 1. Minus 1 into 0 is 0. Minus 3 into 3 minus, sorry. Here it is minus 3, minus 1 into 3 is minus 3, minus 1 into minus 1 into minus 2 is minus minus plus 2, minus minus plus 3, minus 1 into 0 is 0. Yes. So like this you should check. So whatever you can take the uh, here it is outside, whether it is minus, minus or some elements or some numbers, whatever you are taking the outside of or here it is from this matrix, whatever you are taking outside. So that value after you should choose uh, such a way that these numbers you should choose in such a way that after multiplying the outside element with the every element of the matrix you should again get the this uh, this matrix only then only the correct if you do whatever you took here this that's correct then only that's correct otherwise it is not correct clear so now my dear students you can observe here is after taking minus sign outside from this matrix, you can observe here this 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, minus 1, 0, 3, minus 1, 0, 3, minus 2, minus 3, 0, minus 2, minus 3, 0. So, can I write this as, here it is, minus 1 I already took outside. So, write as it is. Next, my question is, this can I write it as A only? Clear? So, here, this matrix is nothing but A itself. So, therefore, you can observe here, my dear students, here, A transpose E is equal to minus 1 into A. This implies, you can write, A transpose is equal to minus 1 into A. So, you can write this, minus 1 into A is nothing but minus A itself. Minus 1 into A is nothing but minus A also, you can write. So, my dear students, skew symmetric means what? Skew symmetric means if I have the any matrix A, generally I am taking a matrix of the order M cross N. So, my dear friends, if I have the any matrix A of the order M cross N, then A is said to be, A is said to be skew symmetric, A is said to be skew symmetric if here it is. A transpose is equals to 
minus a. Clear? My dear students, a transpose is equal to minus a. Then we can say that a is a skew symmetric. So, here you can observe, I taken the a is the one matrix I took here, this a is the one matrix I taken. And if I try, if I calculated the a transpose, this a transpose is equal to minus 1 into a, that is a transpose is equal to minus a, then a is said to be skew symmetric matrix. So simple, what is the skew symmetric? Yaudeyon, I'll explain in Canada. So yaudeyon matrix and now skew symmetric and yana hai the So yaudeyon matrix and the one other transpose and a find out madaga. R transpose yadu equal irbeko minus a equal it tandra. That is a transpose is equal to minus a it tandra. A matrix and now yana the halabudu, putter matrix a and now yana the halabudu. Skew symmetric matrix and the halabudu. Clear. So these are the two definitions. Very very important concept. So please still if you have any doubts, please comment me. I'll reply for that. Clear, my dear students. Now we'll discuss. Uh, there are some theorems based on this. Uh, the there are some theorems are there that we'll discuss later. And now some examples or some questions I'm going to discuss. Clear. So my dear students, very very simple. Symmetric means how they only matrix A and symmetric and the other way. If A transpose is equal to A, then A is said to be symmetric matrix. And if A, A is any any matrix is a transpose is equal to minus a, then a is said to be skew symmetric matrix. That's it. So now, my dear students, we move to the some questions we are going to discuss here. For some, sometimes they may ask one more question, or sometimes they may ask for the three more questions also. Sometimes they may ask. So now I'll discuss question. So write down the question, my dear students. The question is if a is equal to if a is equal to zero a zero a b minus a zero c minus b minus p minus c zero find find half a plus a dash find half a plus a dash so simple this is just question i'm going to discuss still in this uh, question we are not applying any of this uh, transpose and symmetric transpose that are we are not discussing just simple question it is so just we will solve this question clear additions so what they ask find half into a plus a dash so first we should find a plus a dash to add a plus a dash i should know the a transpose clear a dash means a transpose so first try to find out the a transpose my additions first find out the a transpose and already we discussed or we know how to write the transpose of a matrix. So now I will find out the A transpose of this. So here my dear students, here A transpose is equal to this is A and the, we require the A plus A dash. So therefore I will find out A transpose. So A transpose is equal to rows into columns. 0 A B minus A 0 C minus p minus c 0 clear my dear students this is your a transpose j 0 minus c here it is the row whatever rows whatever rows we have that i am writing in terms of the columns so 0 a b 0 a b minus a 0 c minus a 0 c minus p minus c 0 minus p minus c 0 clear but you requ you required the half into a plus a dash for to that first i will discuss a what i will find a plus a transpose. So what is a my dear students? A is here 0 a b minus a 0 c minus b minus c 0. This is your matrix A. Next we should add this with a transpose. What is a transpose? A sorry, 0 minus a minus b. A 0 minus c b c 0. So now my dear students, if you add this, 
If you add these two matrices, you will get A plus A dash. That is A transpose. And we know that how to add the any given two matrices. We can add the any two matrices by adding their corresponding elements. That we discussed in the addition of the two matrices. I hope you remember. So what is that? We discussed that to add any two matrices, we should first check that whether both matrices are of the same order or not. If the two matrices, the given matrices are of the same order, then only addition is possible. So here it is: one, two, three, one, two, three. So this is a matrix of the order three cross three. This is also matrix of the order three cross three because one, two, three, three rows are there. One, two, three, three columns are there. So therefore, since these two matrices are of the order three cross three, that is, both order is same. Both the given matrices order are the given matrices are of the same order. Therefore, addition is possible. And addition is done by adding the corresponding elements of the given matrices. Matrix. Clear. So now I add my students. Here it is. Zero plus zero is zero. A plus minus A plus minus minus A minus plus minus minus A minus A got cancels again here it is zero my dear students B plus minus minus B minus B is again here it is zero got cancels next minus A plus A again minus A plus A is zero my dear students zero plus zero is zero C plus my plus minus minus C minus C is also zero next minus B plus B got cancels. Zero minus three plus three again zero zero plus zero is zero. So my dear students, this is your A plus A transpose. A plus A transpose value is that is zero matrix because every element of this matrix is zero. So therefore here A plus A dash is a zero matrix. We can observe. But what they asked? They asked you half into A plus A dash. So therefore now. Half into half into a plus a transpose. So half into a plus a transpose. This is equals to half as it is. And next my dear students, what is a plus a dash? A plus a dash is a plus a dash. I am substituting a plus a dash matrix elements. So that is zero 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 zero. Clear, my dear students. Now you can multiply here. This half into Half into zero, so half into zero. This is the scalar value. Clear. So this also I discussed for the any given matrix. If I wanted to multiply with the any scalar value or with the any constant, then we should multiply with this scalar every element of the matrices. So half into zero is zero. Half into zero is zero. Half into zero is zero. Likewise, everything. Half into zero. Half into zero. Half into zero. Likewise, you will get zero zero zero. So therefore, my dear students, half into a plus a dash value is equal to zero. Either you can write like this, or you can write like this. So like this, you can solve. So um, they won't ask such a questions. These are simple questions. So normally or generally they won't ask such questions. So the, the important questions next they are based on this concept that we will discuss in the next video. Thank you.